Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful and colorful beaded bracelet at home. The bracelet is based on POD stitch. It's very simple and easy to make. Once you understand the technique, you can make your own design. I am using here four different color beads, but you can use according to your choice. And one thing to remember, the bracelet can be made with round seed beads, but I am using here delica seed beads. So I hope you consider one like and subscribe because it takes lots of time and efforts. So let's take the material list. So for that we need some golden delica beads 11o, black delica beads 11o, red delica beads 11o, white delica beads 11o and beading thread 0.20 mm, lobster clasps, beading needle number 10. So let's make the bracelet. At first take 330 cm long thread for 6 inch bracelet and leave 20 cm long thread for tail. Now I am using here stopper bead. You pass the needle through the stop bead once or twice to keep it in place. Now pick up 7 black and 4 golden and 8 black delica beads. Now I am gonna start peyote stitch from here. So pick up one black beads and then skip the first one and pass through the next one. So every line will be the same. So this is called one peyote stitch. Now pick up one black bead and then skip the next one and pass through the second one. So as you can see our second peyote stitch is completed. So now I am going to pick up one black bead and then skip the next one and pass through the second one. So as you can see I have completed the third peyote stitch. So pick up one black bead and then skip the next one and pass through the second one. This is our fourth peyote stitch. Now again pick up one black bead and then skip the next one and pass through the next golden one. So as you can see I have completed the five peyote stitch. Now I am gonna make the middle part. Now pick up two golden beads and then pass through the next golden bead. This time you have to pass through the next golden bead because this will create a curve. And also this will increase the row. Now I'm gonna make 4 peyote stitch in downward. So pick up one black bead and then skip the next golden one and pass through the next black one. So now I'm gonna make the second peyote stitch of this row. So pick up one black bead and skip the next one and pass through the next black one. Now pick up one black bead and skip the next one and pass through the second one. This is our third peyote stitch of this row. So now I'm gonna make the fourth or last peyote stitch of this row. So pick up one black bead and skip the next one and pass through the last black one. So as you can see I have completed 5 peyote stitch up to increase and 4 peyote stitch down. Now I am going to make a new row. So I am going to step up through 5 peyote stitch up. So pick up one black bead and pass through the next one in the up. As I said before 5 peyote stitch in upward. So this is our second peyote stitch. So pick up one black bead and pass through the next black one in the up. 
as you can see i have completed second purity stitch of this row now this is our third bead so pick up one black bead and pass through the next one in the up so as you can see this is our fourth number bead so pick up one black bead and pass through the next black one in the up so this is our fifth number bead so pick up one black bead and pass through the next golden one so as you can see i have completed five pair stitch upward and this is the middle part so pick up two golden beads and pass through the next golden one so this will increase the row so now i'm gonna step down with four purity stitch we have to reach up to here so pick up one black bead and pass through the next black one this is our first bead of this side or you can say this row so this is our second bead of this row and then this is our third bead of this row and this is the last one as you can see i have completed four downward purity stitch now i'm gonna step up with five purity stitch so as i said before every line will be the same so pick up one black bead and pass through the next uh, black bead in the up so this is our second bead and step up through the next black one in the up and this is our third bead so every line will be the same and this is our fourth bead and this is our fifth bead of this row so i have completed five purity stitch upward so this is the middle part so two pick up two golden beads and pass through the next golden bead so now we have to step down through four purity stitch so pick up one black bead and pass through the next black one this is our first bead of this side and this is our second bead of this row and this is our third bead of this row here is the fourth bead or last bead of this row as you can see i have completed four purity stitch down now i'm going to step up through five purity stitch every line will be the same this is our first bead of this row this is the second and third and fourth and fifth now this is the middle part so pick up two uh, golden beads and pass through the next golden one now it's time to down through four purity stitch every line will be the same once you understand the technique you can make your own design as you can see i have completed four rows of black color you can make more or less according to your choice now i'm going to add more color now i'm going to add golden color so pick up one golden bead and pass through the next black one every line will be the same five purity stitch up to increase and four purity stitch down so this is our second bead and this is our third bead of this row and this is our fourth bead of this row and here is the fifth bead of this row golden bead and pass through the next golden bead Now I'm going to down with four purity stitch. 
pick up one golden bead and pass through the next black one and this is our second bead of this row and this is the third bead and this is our fourth or last bead of this row so now I'm going to make a new golden row so this is our first bead of this row pick up one golden bead and pass through the next golden one in the up and pick up one golden bead and pass through the next golden bead in the up this is our second bead and this is the third bead of this row every line will be the same 5 period stitch up to increase and 4 period stitch down you can add more color or more row according to your choice so if you found my tutorial helpful then please hit the like and subscribe button and drop your valuable opinion in the comment section right below this video and i have listed the material list and some quick jewelry tips in this description box so if you wish you can check this out I'm gonna make three golden rows you can make more or less according to your choice as you can see I have completed four rows of black and three rows of golden you can add more or less now I'm going to add red color with the same process five peyote stitch up to increase and four peyote stitch down every line will be the same this is actually very simple and easy to make as you can see 5 beauty stitch up now to increase now 4 beauty stitch down As you can see I have completed 4 priority stitch in the red color so every line will be the same I am going to make a new row of red color in this way make red color rows so as you can see I have completed the red color row now I'm going to make the white row like this, like the same. In the same technique you can add more color or you can add more row as you wish according to your choice. Now continue this sequence up to your desired length. Now we have to reach to the top point through this way. This is simply zigzag stitch alternatively step up through one by one bead So as you can see I have reached the top part now pick up three golden beads and one clasp and three golden beads this will create the closer loop now step down through the next golden bead 
at this point you can reinforce the part but i am skipping the part only sort of time now step down through the next couple beads Now I'm going to finish the bracelet. So secure the end with couple knots here. Now I'm going to cut off the extra tail thread. One side is ready. So now I'm going to make the another side. So remove the stop bead and attach a needle in this side. Now I'm going to make a closer loop. That's why I have picked up 16 black beads. You can add more or less according to your reach size or choice. Now we have to pass through the opposite side black bead. You can reinforce the part but I am skipping here. Now step down through couple beads and then secure the end with couple knots here and after that cut off the extra tail thread and it's done. So I hope you understand it. Hope you like this. So see you in next tutorial till then.